guys welcome back to the channel it's so good to see y'all i just got back from my florida trip that was a lot of fun but the reason why you clicked on this video is for this here oh geez don't drop it i was really surprised to receive it in this style of packaging uh, it's definitely a chinese brand 1/8 scale arma creighton exb 6s shell base roll cage uh, Quinn Ling, Quinn Ling racing products. Cool. Ooh, it's official. It's imported materials. I really want to open this up. I can't wait, dude. I've had this thing for a week and I knew it was at the house. I was waiting to get home. I've been wanting to check this thing out. Um, we're going to get the truck, this, that. Awesome. Oh, real quick though. And look at that. That tr I mean, the bag dwarfs the truck. Look, look at all the space you still got. So I'm thinking batteries, battery charger, couple of tires in between, throw some tools in here, and like you're good to go. Yeah, I bet I could fit in this. I mean, you could probably put somebody in there. That's a big bag. That's a big bag, son. What you're supposed to do, guys, just to let you know what you're supposed to do, is you're actually supposed to put your box, okay? The box that the truck came in, you're supposed to put the box, the bottom part of your box, in the bag. And what that does is that gives the bag a little bit of stability, okay? And then you put your truck inside the box, and that's what you're supposed to do. That's the idea behind it. You can definitely do that with 8 scale. Your one fifth scale box, probably not. But with eight scale, that's what you do. Alrighty, let's see here. What we got? Is that it? Nothing else in the bag. Anything? Anything else in there? Nope. Okay, what we got? All right, so what is that? Is that carbon fiber? I don't think that's carbon fiber. And I don't think that's a 3D printed material. It might be 3D printed. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't see any like build marks unless that's what these are. You guys may know more about it than I do. I was hoping that these would be carbon fiber, but it's not. It's like a a really hard plastic, and I need to I need to cut these too, because it looks like there's two of them there, and then there's two of them there. All right, well, let's see what kind of hardware we got going down. Definitely some kind of brace. Oh, check that out. They actually have some kind of design, like laser engraved on it. That's pretty cool. Um, another part. Huh. I don't know, man. What is this made of? I almost want to say that they're 3D printed because that would be the easiest way to make these parts. And you notice how one side of them is like really flat and then, I don't know. I might just, I don't know. See those like little grooves that go around? Hmm, comes with the hardware. All right. Um, more hardware. More hardware. Watch me need like a special bumper or something. It didn't. I read the comments. Nobody mentioned anything about needing extra stuff. Oh great, the manual. The instructions. Okay. Is that what it's supposed to look like completed? Okay, so that's the rear part. This is the front part. Um Oh yeah, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Jesus. Alright, let's see here. 
see it has that front bumper on it. I don't have that front bumper. I don't have a bumper at all actually on the front of mine. Cause you see how it this part latches into like the bumper. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem for me. Hey, there's some screws, zip ties, and body mounts, and uh, this piece, whatever this is. Huh, all right, like that. So that piece notches in, and then this is the back part. Um, it looks like it's oriented this way. So looks like, yeah, that sits like that notched in and then it looks like you just kind of thumb this screw back in all right and like i said i'm just going to tighten everything up right now just kind of by hand i'm just going to put it together i'm not going to tighten everything just yet because i'm not sure so that's how that piece goes and then it looks like there's this side bracket here and i'm thinking that this piece is this piece and it looks like it mounts into this bar here with the head cap going up or is it under no it goes under the piece see that don't look right How's that supposed to fit? Maybe it goes like this. I'm not 100% sure. I might be wrong on the way that it mounts. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and install the other side bar. So the back piece does assemble that way. You can see it's held on with these body retainer clips. And then in, here's the back. You can see where I was saying how they sit. And then you have to run that through. So I'm going to get this to line up as even as possible. And then I'll drill my holes. Uh, but we're going to work on the front. So I have literally been working on this for like an hour. The front end of it. Um, I've taken the shocks off. I've, I even put the stock shock tower on. I don't know, man. I have a version 5, okay? That's what version of Creighton I have. I have a 5. I don't know if this is maybe meant for the 4 or for the 3, but even with the stock shock tower, it still does not line up. These top mounting brackets here, they mount up to nothing. Even when you put it on this, they line up somewhat with these two holes but they're still way off like nothing nothing fits and you can't hug it up too much because if you hug it up you see this bottom part now it sits on top of the leg so your arm can't move because this piece is sitting on top of it so if you move it out then it drops the hole positioning down so you can clear the legs but if you drop it down, it also does not line up. It does kind of appear that it would line up with the hinge pins here and here, but it doesn't. It does not line up at all, man. You know, I'm starting to get tired of this. I have been buying upgraded parts for the Arma Creighton 6S version 5. Like 99.9% .9 of all the parts I have bought are version five parts and they don't fit. Like they're not compatible. I've had to like modify them, drill holes in them, grind them down. And it's like, it's, it's ridiculous, dude. I've gone with different manufacturers. I've got Intigy, I got Hot Racing, I got GPM, I've gone with all rpm i've done all kinds of different manufacturers and half and half of it doesn't really uh com doesn't comply with each other so i don't know what i'm gonna do it does look cool though i mean i kind of like the look of it but it i don't know how to get it mount to the front 
I don't know. Maybe I'm going to need that front shock or that front. Remember I was saying I needed the front uh, bumper because this whole bottom plate like mounts to it, mounts to that bumper. And if I could get it to mount to the bumper, I wouldn't worry about so much it mounting at the top here. I could figure something else out. So it looks like I'm going to have to uh, go from here, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, yeah. Well, I'm doing this, man, so you guys don't have to. You know, if you've seen this on eBay and you're thinking, oh, I want to buy a roll cage for my Creighton, uh, did it for you, man. So I hope you guys like this video. Leave a like. Thank you as always for watching. I appreciate you guys. Check out some of my videos. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on Patreon. Yeah, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel and go to the about page, go to the down, you'll find my phone number, my email. If you got something to say or you need help with something, email me, send me a message. Love to hear from you guys. Appreciate y'all.